We are here at Regal Autosport in the UK because of our new partnership with CSF Radiators. Therefore, we took our new BMW M3 and fitted the new intake system. Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we've got this GAT M3 from GP Products all the way from the Netherlands. And we've got Rowan here who has brought the car the whole way across to have some special upgrades. Um, so we're gonna be installing the CSF intake manifold on this car. The intakes on these cars are obviously a must because obviously you want a lot more intake sounds. Obviously yeah. the, the factory intake, it works okay, but if you really wanna release all those turbo, turbo noises, you're driving down the road like I was earlier <laughs> and you can hear it quite a lot from the outside. So. And that's not with every car, like some cars, they, they, they stay quiet, but on this car, you really notice the, the sound difference. Yeah. It's really nice. It's going to get even bigger when you run, obviously, bigger turbos or um, aftermarket ECU software. Bigger turbos. Hmm. <laughs> that sounds cool. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's basically everything on this particular car. Obviously, if you guys want to follow the build, um, it's Absolute Motors, um, GP Products. And also, what's the Instagram name for this specific car? That's m3.g80.gp. Perfect. And we'll put, obviously, the name in the description of the video and also on screen so you guys can follow the progress of the build. So yeah, thank you very much for, for uh, coming across, bringing the car to us. It's an honor to be able to install obviously the first one for you guys first of many i hope so yeah let's um let's get this on the car and get you guys back on the road Okay, so we've finally removed the standard intake manifold. And obviously we've got it here just beside me and then we've got the CSF intake manifold here. Um, so it's quite a lot of work, this being a X-Drive model, a little bit more so than what you'd have on the normal two-wheel drive model. Some of the differences between the factory charge cooler and the CSF charge cooler. Um, so performance-wise, um, CSF has obviously already extensively tested this and they report around a 15 to 20 degree Celsius difference between the OEM manifold and the CSF manifold. So it's quite a significant improvement. Um, when you actually look at the manifold, you can see inside um, how much more densely packed the um, CSF uh, PWR core is. Uh, what's more is the factory charge cooler is made from a tube and fin construction. Um, so there's been failures already of these up to around about 27 PSI, which obviously if you're running aftermarket ECU software, you're right up there. So um, the standard cooler probably isn't going to last particularly very long, especially after a few heat cycles at increased boost levels. And as well as being a tube and fin construction, the factory manifold still has the um, crimped on core to the plastic end tank, whereas the CSF one is completely welded the whole entire way across. So it's not going to fail in the same way. And I believe CSF tested it up to around 120 PSI, which is probably more than anyone's ever going to run on these cars. So you've got the um, Kylux inlet manifold gasket. I probably absolutely butchered that uh, pronunciation. But what this um, gasket does is it protects the intake manifold or the charge cooler from the heat that comes from the engine. Other things you've got on here is we've got a um, fuel rail as well, which is for the indirect injection that you've got ports for all the way along the front. And then on the back, you've got ports for the water methanol and also the nitrous, whichever one you want to run. Obviously, this is for the guys that are really pushing the um, envelope of like the bigger turbo conversions um, in really, really hot climates. Um, as well as that, you've got a pad on the back where you can have multiple different um, like vacuum ports, which is very handy when you're obviously setting up like the water meth and other different triggers um, dependent on the vacuum. And of course, we've also then got the custom finish that this particular customer went for, which is the BMW M carbon ceramic um, with a satin lacquer on there. So this is paint matched to the original calipers on the car um, with a nice satin um, lacquer. Obviously you can do gloss as well if you want to gloss. And we're just gonna get this on the car. Looking forward to seeing what it looks like once we've got it all wrapped up.
we are going to do the distribution of CSF radiators in the Benelux. Anything that has something to do with coolant and needs the best cooling there is, you can use CSF radiators. We are going to build a big stock to supply you really fast. So if you want anything, please contact us at GP Products. Mm -hmm.